It's a bit of a chilly Monday in Calgary as we get set to wrap up Labor Day weekend with a battle of Alberta between the Stamps and Elks. Two teams heading in different directions right now. Second and nine. Flags here, Jake Mayer over the middle, down the field, he's oh. got a man! All the way to the 45, staying on his feet, Mark and Michelle! Michelle finally taken down, a big strike for the Stampeders early at home. Of missing interceptions? No, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. He'd catch them, but just to fall underneath those routes. <laughs> I think I yeah, let me be clear. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me be clear, be angry with me on that. Second and nine now for Calgary on their own 13. Mayor pressured again, and he'll be taken down inside the five. Noah Curtis, second career sack. Well after the play, and want to protect the players, and so does the PA. Here it goes straight forward, what a move, down to the 15, one man to beat for it. Looking for the end zone, pushed out of bounds, up and over, at the end of a spectacular run by the young quarterback. 40 yards for Ford. Can Cornelius finish this time? Pushing straight up the middle, and he's in. Touchdown, Edmonton. Taylor Cornelius finishes off what Trey Ford started. He maxed out at 158, a perfect quarterback rating last week. Ford flushed out of the pocket again on the run. And close to a first down. A couple of Stampeders with a crack at him, but they couldn't track him down. Julian stands just inside his own 30. Lewis takes it after a 47-yard boot, looking for some blocking now. Tommy Lee Lewis trying to get set free, and he is down to the 50. Lewis avoids the kicker along the sideline and eventually pushed out of bounds. Almost had it. Huge return for Calgary. Had to settle for a field goal last time. Mayor, pressure coming, trying to get away, but he can't. Once again, Edmonton gets him. AC Leonard and Ceresna team up on that one. Tommy Lee Lewis with the big return and just to settle for a field goal. That's a win for the Elks. Paredes, one for one today. Give him two for two as he knocks another one home and the Labor Day Classic is deadlocked at seven. He's been looking to his teammate Tanner Green, who's got a lot of history with the Elks, because he really just wants to feel the fire of this rivalry, you guys. They got involved there for 10 yards. Looks to his right, it's gonna be flushed out of the pocket, running backwards, throws it over the top, and that one intercepted just outside the 40. It's Lewis, stays on his feet, now tripped up. Marcus Lewis, his third interception of the season, puts Edmonton in business midway through the quarter. Faithful back out. A little bit less work than the last one. 24 yards straight away. And he makes no mistake there, so Edmonton will settle for the three. And they lead 11-7. Second and 15 for Mayer. Trips over to the right. Ball popped out, and Mayer is able to get back on it just in time. Coney Ely was right there. Four for 10 on second down today for Edmonton. Just three man rush again. Four near side to Mitchell. Mitchell made a man miss down the sideline. And that is a first down for the visitors. First catch of the game for Dylan Mitchell goes for 17. Time ticking down here in the half. We'll give it to Moore. Who's going to throw it to the end zone? Dunbar got it. Are you kidding me? What a play. Kyron Moore throws a touchdown to Stephen Dunbar. And Edmonton goes on top by 10. And lots to discuss. We got a coach, a quarterback, a receiver, and a DB. Mayor. Far side. That's complete to Mills, and Mills takes it up inside the 45, 48-yarder to pull Calgary within eight at the end of the first half. Paredes 
got all of it and smooths it through. Calgary trailing Edmonton 18-10. Finish him off to play more with a couple of injuries on the defensive side of the ball for Calgary. Here's Brown stumbling ahead, but he's got another Edmonton first down. Empty backfield for Ford this time. Three to the left, three to the right, three man rush. Ford waits, tries to lob one in there, and it works. Nice touch as he gets it to Manny Arsenault, and he now has a catch in 140 consecutive games. From 24 earlier in the ball game, comes in at just 80% on the season. And this one is crushed through with an interception. On the pocket, down the field, wide open. He's got Ambles who lowers the boom on Ty Gray and takes it down to the Edmonton 50. That should help things, Glenn. Not adding up, is it? No, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes the stats don't tell the story. First and 10 from the 24. Mills into the game now. Makes a move all the way down to the 10. Still going all the way to the 5 before he stopped. Diedrich Mills giving Kadeem Carey a breather and just rumbles for 18. And then a flag thrown here. Did Mills hit one of the Elks in the helmet at the end of that play? Four for 11 on second down, seventh play of the drive from there. Three options out to his wide side left. Pressure coming, a flag on the play. Cody Ely was held. They will throw it towards the end zone, and it's hauled in for a touchdown. But this one will come off the board. I don't think Jake Mayer saw the flag. He was, he was out and around the edge before the flag was thrown and didn't see it was behind him. Paredes back to work again for the fourth time tonight. And he's perfect. Leading by eight. Here's Ford. Forced back. Way back. Now he moves to his left on the run. Trey Ford still going. And now he finds his face on the far side of the field. How about this? Ford to the 50. Down to the 40 and will eventually slide. Just brilliant stuff from the Canadian quarterback. He may lose 20 yards. Okay, now I'm I'm not comparing him, and I know that Coach Jones has also talked a little bit about this, so it's not a unique idea by any stretch of the imagination, but I saw some Doug Flutie in there on this run. Ford trying to find the end zone, second and goal. Has it, will throw it, and he's got a touchdown, Dunbar! Second of the game, first one runs from Moore. This one is from Ford, and Edmonton has some breathing room. Trailing by 15, quick completion, Mark and Michelle. He makes a couple of guys miss, and Michelle still going. But we talked about it earlier, he hit a big one earlier in the game. This guy's got that game-breaking ability. Second and goal from the Edmonton five. Four options out to the left from there. He's gonna run to the right, Jake Mayer on the run, looking to the end zone, and it's in! Touchdown, Calgary! Jake Mayer stuck it himself! Looking to take some precious time off this clock. Back to Brown again, right up the middle again for Kevin Brown! That's gonna go for close to 20. Trying to knock home his longest field goal of the season from 46 for a double digit lead on Labor Day. That one is up and he knocks it through. Longest of the season could not have come at a better time. First and 10 from the Edmonton 11 for Mayer. Pressure from Edmonton right up the Got middle. Mayer to the end zone. Broken up. No flags. McLaurin there against Bagleton and Bagleton in disbelief that there was no flag on the play. After review, the call on the field is overturned. We have defensive pass interference, Edmonton, number eight. The ball will be placed on the one yard line, first down. Just under two minutes to play. AC Leonard might have been early. Mayer's gonna heave one down the field, has a man, drops it in there. What a completion for the Calgary Stampeders. Jake Mayer to Reggie Bagleton. Can they keep this drive alive? Mayer with time down the field. Has a man inside the five. Guns it in there to the veteran Ambles. 
Clock ticks down inside 30. They'll hand it off. Bouncing off a tackle. Looking towards the end zone. And again. Touchdown Calgary. Deidre Mills puts them on top late. Needs a whole bunch here to try to stay alive. Dumps it off to Manny Arsenal. Arsenal taken down and that will do it. The Calgary Stampeders storm back to win the Labor Day Classic in thrilling fashion. 35-31, stealing it away from their rivals from the north. What a finish. Well-earned victory. Great performance by Trey Ford, especially running the football, getting his team out in front. But Jake Mayer put together an 80-plus yard drive to win it the go-ahead touchdown.